Good evening, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. It's wonderful for you to be here with us this evening at Spiritual Psychics TV with your fortnightly edition of Collective Consciousness streaming live to you via YouTube. Collective Consciousness, as our regular viewers will know, is a show that is purely dedicated to mediumship with me having the great honour and opportunity of introducing a new guest medium to you all and to our Spiritual Psychics TV family. It's wonderful that we have so many of you here with us this evening. A warm welcome to all of our regular viewers and indeed any new viewers that are watching with us for the first time here this evening. Do let us know where you're watching from, guys. This is a community channel, so we do love to have your interaction here with us as the medium. And whilst I'm talking of interaction, please be conscious that if you do not hold a YouTube account, you will not be able to interact with us via the live comments feed just below there. So it only takes literally a couple of minutes. All you need to do is click on your link just up in the top right hand corner and create an account and then you're good to go and we'll be able to communicate and read all of your lovely comments and work with you should spirit draw us and take us into your direction. As I say, it's wonderful that you're taking the next hour and a half of your time here to be with us, but just please let me go through a few house rules before we get things started here this evening, and I introduce my wonderful, lovely guest medium to you all here this evening. So first of all, as we all know, this is a public platform, so you must use discretion at all times and be conscious, please, ladies and gents, when you are placing your comments in the comments box just below there. As you all know, I am the original share bear of Spiritual Psychics TV. So please, please, please share us out there to all of your social media pages, whether that be Facebook, Instagram, and any others that I just cannot remember at this present moment in time. It's dead easy to share. You've got a little arrow icon, which is in a little swirly format just below here. If you click on that, it will allow you to copy the link and share it onto all of your social media formats. So that would be absolutely fantastic if you could do so. Let's help Spiritual Psychics TV grow. I can see that we've got loads of our patron members that are actually popping up their hellos at this present moment in time. And those of you that don't know about our patron members, they are our VIPs, our very important peoples to Spiritual Psychics TV. And what that means is that for just one pound minimum donation a month, you can subscribe and become a member and gain your angel wings for discounts on the private readings with our approved readers here on the channel. It gives you exclusivity to different demonstrations and exclusive shows that are not streamed via this live format. So for any further details, just pop yourselves over onto Spiritual Psychics TV's main Facebook page and you will see all the terms and conditions and the do's and don'ts on there to guide you on your way. So I think we should say a few hellos, but before we do so, I do want to bring my lovely guest medium onto screen with me here this evening. As some of you know who follow me on my Facebook page, you will know that she is one of my teachers that has helped me along my way and brought me to where I am today. So I'm so excited to be working with her once again here this evening. So let me introduce to you all the lovely Karen Wood. Good evening, Karen. How are you? Good evening, Bill. Good evening, everyone. I'm really excited and I'm really well. And I'm really looking forward to being with everybody today. I've put my posh frock on and I'm ready to get cracking. <laughs> <laughs> and lovely you look too, Karen. <laughs> so why don't you tell everybody who's watching at home uh, this evening just a little bit about yourself? Well, I don't know if we've got that long because I go back so many years, Bill, as, as you know. <laughs> um, my, I started about 30 years ago as a spiritualist and I, I'm very proud to call myself a church medium and because I started in the church at West Wickham, which you know very well. I was taken to West Wickham by my dear friend Deb and her lovely mum Eve, who um, and both are mediums, uh, and they took me along. And Eve started a circle, and she said to me, "Why don't you come and join?" And I said, 
me what do you want me to come and join for she said i just see something in you so cut a long story short i started being more involved in the church um a lovely lady called enid mega also took me under her wing she took me to the arthur finley college where new horizons opened for me i met wonderful tutor tutors such as my dear mentor minister janet parker and paul jacobs and simon james and brian robertson and um, spiritualism and mediumship is a very, very important part of my, my life, as you know. And I love what I do. And it's been an amazing journey. And I've met some great people along the way. So it's been fantastic. Really good. It has. It has. It uh, sounds like you've had a fantastic journey. And not only that, you're actually a tutor yourself. I am, and yes. I'm just one of the many students that have been um, brought to you via our paths crossing and mm -hmm. uh, the divine timing through uh, spirit. So um, just tell everybody at home how they can actually reach out to you um, should they wish to do so, not just for um, tutorship, but, but for other things such as demonstrations that you might be doing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm, on, um, I'm on Facebook, so uh, you can look at me under Karen Wood. Uh, Facebook, I'm on Instagram. Um, I've got a, a Facebook page called East Sussex Mediumship, which is attached to my page. Um, I, you can get in touch with me by email. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm quite a lot on Facebook now. Um, and um, so I, I do posters and things. So you can always get in touch with me via Facebook. So that's Absolutely. probably the best place to go. Absolutely. And also um, from my own page, I, I share a lot of your uh, demonstrations as well. You do. Um, so people yeah. can always find you. Um, on, on either one of our uh, Facebook pages mm -hmm. should they uh, choose to do so. So I think um, without um, nothing more to do, what we should do is say a few hellos because I can see we've got loads of people with us this evening. Hello, Jules. She's um, a good friend of, of uh, Neil Payne's room. She uh, goes in there and she comes on the workshops and stuff that I do. So it's nice to see her in the room this evening. Hello there, Jules. And Lindsay Cato, she's saying evening, Bill and Karen and Richard and everyone at SPTV. Good evening, Peachy May 3. Lovely to see you. And also Hi. Emma Al Al Abernethy. I beg your pardon if I pronounced your surname incorrectly. Good evening to you, my darling. Oh, the lovely Kim Scott. Lovely to see you, Kim. She's another mate from... Um, Neil's room, she's been to workshops, lovely to see. Oh, Sylvia as well, Sylvia Maxwell. Hello yeah. there, Sylvia, thank you very much for joining us. And Suze is saying good evening all as well. Hello there, Suze. Oh, lovely Natalie, she's here too. Hello there, Natalie. And uh, Elle Star, hello there, she's saying hi to everyone. Good evening to you, my lovely. Thank you for joining us. Ruth Townsend, evening all. Hello, Ruth, lovely to see you. Suzanne um. Anderson. <laughs> Another one from Circle, Bill. Suzanne oh, Anderson. Bless her. Suzanne. And Emma's saying, lovely to meet you, Karen. Oh, lovely to meet you too. Oh, Kelly McKeating. Hello. Hello, Kelly. Kelly's Treasures is saying, Jules H. Hi. So there's <laughs> this interaction, as we know, that uh, this lovely community we have here um, where everybody interacts with each other. Um, and it revolves around a lot of food as well, I must say, with uh, the ladies and their discussions most uh, well, fortnights. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I like food. Oh, Beverly Fitzgerald. I know. Hello. Hello, Beverly. Hannah, one, two, three. Oh, oh she's for the first, first time. time. So thank you for joining us, Hannah. It's lovely for you to be with us. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. I can see that Neil's with us as well. Oh, hello there, Neil. Good evening My to dear you. friend, Neil. My dear and, friend, Neil. Hello, Sam. Sam Perr. Hello, Sam. How are you? Christina Mararis. Uh, Good evening, Bill, Karen and Richard from everybody from Bournemouth. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Have we got any overseas viewers with us tonight, guys? Let us know if you're uh, watching from overseas. It'll be great to know. I can see Heidi's with us. She's saying, hey, Karen, welcome to SPTV. Oh, thank you. That's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa Paris. Hello, Lisa. Hi there, Lisa. Oh, and wow. Lisa, we believe you're from New York, so that's amazing. Thank you for joining us here this evening. Good evening, Hazel Harrison. It's lovely for you to join us. She's saying hi to you, Karen. Hello. Oh, I love your picture with your owl. That's amazing. I love owls. They're gorgeous. 
<laughs> and Tracy's is on it. Who's who mentions food? <laughs> Evening, Tracy. Lovely for you to be with us here this evening. It's so great to see so many of you are here. Oh, Melissa from the from US here. Perfect. Welcome, welcome. And Shelley's treasures Miss Michelle dear love Scott. Lovely Michelle dear love Scott from Wimbledon Spiritualist Church saying, Bill, it's me. Hello there, Michelle. <laughs> Thank you for joining. It's so lovely for you to be here with us this evening and guys just do be conscious as well that there is around about a 20 second delay with you placing your comments and us guys actually uh, receiving them here so we do all just need to be cautious and conscious of that um, as we move forward this evening uh, working mr and mrs b are saying hi there to everybody hello good evening And it's Joe, did you say there, Richard? How oh, hi there, Joe. Hi, Joe. Mary Dixie's saying I've just seen your picture slightly. <laughs> Here we go. We're starting with the food. Right, that's it. I'm banning all comments about food this evening. <laughs> yeah, Richard's whispering no chance in my ear, and I, I, I somehow believe him there. Wait till oh. I start. Wait till I start working. I always get food through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> Stace is uh, Stace Shaw's with us. She's a VIP member there, Karen, and she's just popping up a love heart there. Hello, Stace. Hello, Nicole. Evening all, she says. Evening to you. Oh, God bless. Hello there, Sarah Dignam. Good evening to you as well. It's wonderful that you're all joining us. As I say there, guys, so please, please, please do share us out there as much as you possibly can. But I do feel that, like, the energies are starting to build up. I don't know about yourself there, Karen. Yeah, so, they are. Um, they are. Good, good, good. So um, if you don't mind, I think I'll kick things off. And go then you I'll, go ahead. I'll do the, the first link because I've got, I've got this gentleman that's, that's – actually, he's been with me since yesterday. He kept nipping in and wanting to talk to me. <laughs> Hello there, Christine. Thank you very much. So I do feel as though I need to be working with this lovely man because he's been very patient and he's been waiting oh, uh, a thanks. nice uh, uh, period of time to join uh, join with us this evening. So um, I'll get started if I may. Go on then. Off you go. Okay, go on then. Here we go. It's like my teacher's telling me off again. <laughs> I've got to be on my best behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I just do want to talk about this gentleman that I've actually got who's starting to blend his energies with me. As I say, I, I have been conscious over the last day that um, he's been nipping in and he's been making himself known to me. So I know that there must be a purpose for him wanting to come here this evening and to communicate with one of you lovely viewers that are watching here this evening. The first thing that he's made me do whilst we've been chatting away here this evening is he's taken me to my pad and he's actually made me draw a domino. Okay, so he's bringing through the relevance of a domino. And on this domino, you can see that he's, he's, he's made me draw out the numbers two and six. So I'm going to work with that in a minute. I just want to bring the essence of this gentleman through so that the um, recipient can understand who it is and I know whom I'm actually working with on this link. OK, I do get a great sense and understanding with this gentleman that he tells me that he's dad. OK, but I do need to acknowledge that he would also have been a granddad when he was on the earth plane before he crossed over into the spirit world. OK, I do get a great sense and understanding as he comes forward and he starts blending more with me that he's placing a metallic taste in my mouth and when spirit do that with me I understand that there would have been a cancerous condition that I need to acknowledge with this gentleman that he would have had that would have taken him over to passing over into the world of spirit okay and um, I do feel as though as he's doing that with me that he wants to take me down into like my tummy area as um, I'm becoming more conscious of him as he's blending with me I do feel as though he's making me want to be small framed okay he, he's 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 impressioning himself on me in a way that he's making me actually get a sense that he's actually a very slim build this gentleman okay i want to be placing i want to be placing gray in hair on him but i also need to understand and acknowledge the fact that he wants me to have a slight discoloration to my complexion as well okay i feel as though i want to have a slightly graying complexion to my skin tone as well with this gentleman as he starts to come closer to me okay i do also get an overwhelming sense of exhaustion as he's actually starting to work with me now okay and i know I know that my character really changed towards the end of my life on the earth plane before I passed over into the spirit world. OK, so I hope that there's somebody that can relate to the initial part of the information that he's brought forward there. And if you can, 
please do pop it up in the comments section so Richard can direct me to whomever it is that can uh, relate to this information. But I just want to talk to him a little bit more. Ruth is saying maybe your father-in-law. Okay, Ruth, I'm just writing your name down so I know that it's you that I'm possibly working with here, my darling. The other thing that I just want to be um, investigating with this chap is why he's brought this domino through to me with the number two and the number six. So I feel as though I need to either be identifying to indeed the, the number two or six bearing a relevance with regards to a date that would be familiar with you, 2626, or indeed what Spirit likes to do with me just very recently when they're placing numbers into my head, they actually make me run through the calendar months of the year. So I would understand two would be February, and I understand that six would be June. So there may be the significance of these months that this gentleman's placing into my mindset that he wants me to bring forward as part of this evidence as he starts to communicate and blend with me just a little bit more. Lisa, you're saying that your dad passed from lung cancer. Okay, so what I need you ladies to do, both Ruth and Lisa, is just tell me if you are able to relate or understand indeed why, why he's been bringing this additional information uh, forward, okay, because it's very important that you relate to what it is that the, the link is bringing forward, because if you don't, then I need to go back and I need to check my link and understand why I'm being given that, okay? But you must understand that he just does not want to take this overwhelming sense of exhaustion off of me at this present moment in time. So I feel and I also understand the reason why he's doing that with me is because I also need to be placing this sense of exhaustion with the recipient as well. So one of you lovely ladies would also be able to relate and understand that, um, at this present moment in time, there's a lot going on around you where you're actually feeling quite physically exhausted as well, please. Okay, I also have another Lisa, uh, Lisa Cooper, who's saying, Dad passed with bowel cancer. God bless him. Okay, okay, all right, okay. So, again, let me just reiterate on this part of the information that this gentleman's brought forward with the domino. Okay, so indeed, again, I'll go over it. Either... There would have been a connection with you associating this gentleman playing indeed dominoes or indeed being drawn to the fact about the numbers that he's placed on those dominoes. So the number two and the number six, whether that be two or six, 26, or indeed if he wants to take me into the months of February and June. Lisa, you're saying he had jaundice. Okay, so that would actually validate the reason why he was giving me the discoloration to the complexion of my skin. You would be able to relate as well with regards to the physicality and the frame and the build of dad as he starts to come forward here as well, please, okay? Because he just makes me want to be very small at this present moment. So I'm six foot and I'm quite a big lad. So he's just giving me that great sense. Lisa, you're saying, I just bought my daughter Domino's. My mom's birthday is February the 2nd. Not sure about the six. Okay, all right. So I wonder, again, um, Lisa, if you can just, um, again, relate to uh, the number six being drawn into the month of June, or indeed that number six just bearing some type of relevance as an important day, okay? But um, it's great that you've come forward and you've been able to take the link of the domino because it was very important that I pass that part of the information over. Okay, so I do feel as though I'm probably working more closer on this link with yourself. Please do pop up in the comments section as well, please, my darling, with regards to this overwhelming sense of exhaustion, because I just feel as though at this present moment in time, what he's trying to make me understand here is that I just need to be placing lots of healing around you um, at this present moment in time, okay? And if that is the case, yes, he is a tall man, but slender, okay? Um, if, if that is the case, Lisa, you're saying six foot, okay. okay. Um, and, and if that is the case, you could understand why we need to just send those healing angels um, close to you. Okay, six isn't relevant to you. Okay, then it could be the link why he's brought the six foot forward. Um, again, I will double check that information as I continue to work on this link with this lovely um, chap. 
Um, Ruth, you're saying dad-in-law played dominoes and passed of cancer. Right, so I need to get this information narrowed down just a little bit more because there are two of you that can associate um, to this um, link by the looks of things there as well. Okay, I know that my character changed towards the end of my life on the earth, same with this gentleman, okay, because he just gives me a sense of him not really being himself. It changed him um, quite considerably, where I, I just want to say that it just gives me a sense of, not that it would have been in his character, but I just get a sense that um, I would have actually have been... Um, I would have been quite angry, okay? Um, it just makes me feel as though I just want to be quite angry, but angry because it's things that are beyond my control, you can understand. Ruth, I'm, all, I'm, I'm always feeling exhausted. Tall me, six foot three, slim build. Okay, all right. Okay. Let me get a little bit more information. I, again, I, I know it's either... Um, Ruth or um, Lisa by the looks of things and now we've got another person that's coming in Lindsay Cato my father-in-law past of cancer can relate to February and June as well right I need to get a bit more information from this gentleman because I can't um, work on this link with lots of you it's only meant for one of you but again as you all know when spirit do this to us as they often do over this virtual platform if others can take love and comfort from and guidance from the message then that spirit doing their job by actually reaching out to more than just one person. Lindsay, you're saying my husband's birthday is on the 26th of February as well. Okay, all right, let's. Uh... Lindsay, can you also please relate to the um, to the fact of this overwhelming sense of exhaustion, not just with the gentleman, but also around you as well, please, my lovely, because I feel it's very important that that part of the information also gets validated here, because he's just not taking that condition off of me at this present moment in time. Uh, hello, hello Jenny. Lovely. lovely to see you. Okay. My dad was very angry at the end. He couldn't um, accept his illness. Okay. And that's Lisa Paris as well. Okay. So I think I'm working on a bit of a, a, a double, triple whammy here. Okay. I, I am. I am. And Ruth is also saying that she feels absolutely very frustrated. Okay, okay. So I just want to get a little bit more information, and that's fine. That's Spirit's way of working us, just that little bit harder. <laughs> okay, so let me just see what else it is that I can get from him that he wants to bring forward, okay? Because I just want to be placing healing, as I say, around the recipient at this present moment in time, because he's placing lots of blue within my mind's eye, and I relate the colour blue to healing and actually sending healing over to the recipient who would need it at this present moment in time, okay? Um, but also, what I'm actually doing is I'm actually just getting a great sense of, of a stiffness within my neck as well that he's placing on me now. So I know that I need to be relating to somebody who can understand about having this, this stiff neck, this, this, awkward, this awkward hinge it's in the back of my neck at this present moment in time that is popping on me. So again, I hope that one of you lovely ladies is able to step forward and claim that part of the information that he's actually just putting on me at this present moment in time, okay? Um, he does actually want to show me, uh, keeping on this grey colouring thing that he's actually um, putting into my, my, my mindset, I do feel as though I just want to be wearing a grey jumper with him, okay? I want to have a grey jumper with this gentleman because he's just placing that on me. So I feel as though that colour would be very relatable to this gentleman with the way that he would have dressed as well. Okay. Um, and also, um, okay. Also, I just get a great overwhelming um, sense of me just being absolutely in, hosp in hospital quickly. Okay, that's Ruth again. Okay. All right. Um, Ruth, can you also understand why he's just putting this, this sense on me of, of me being very full? as well okay because I, I i feel very very full as though i can't consume anything else so again i feel as though i need to be acknowledging that as part of his condition god love him before he would have passed over into spirit i just feel very very full at this present moment in time so again i need to be patient and make sure that you can relate to that information i am feeling drawn to work working more so with ruth i have to say richard at this present moment in time um, and I just feel that that link is, is, is taking me over um, into her direction. 
um, right now, okay? But Ruth, also what I'm doing, I'm just asking him to give me a bit of information. There's always a purpose why they come and have a chat with us, okay? So I'm just asking him to give me some info that will be relatable to you at this present moment in time, um, my lovely, okay? Um, because I just, I, I just want, with you, what I, want to, what I want to be doing is I just want to be going out walking. He's just taking me out walking, okay? It's almost as though I just want to be going out and I want to be clearing my mind walking. So you can understand of wanting to just take myself away from my current circumstance and just clear my thoughts, okay? Because I just want the soft wind. I just want the fresh air. I just want to feel the breeze against my face, you would understand at this present moment in time. I'm just asking him reasons why he's actually placing that to me. And I just feel as though what I need to be doing is just taking myself away from my current situation, my current circumstance, where I can just gather my thoughts at this present moment in time, okay? Because I just feel that there's a slight overconsumption of things that are going on here, okay? And it's almost as though I just want to just go to the outside elements and just gather my thoughts. That's what is making me feel at this present moment in time. And again, my darling, just please um, work with me by placing your feedback up in the comment section there. Yeah, Ruth, you're saying, really think this is my dad-in-law, suffered with stiff neck. Yes, he did. He used to eat loads, but towards the end, his appetite was rubbish. Perfect. Okay, all right. I don't mean perfect, but that was the fact. And you do absolutely need to do that. Then I am on the correct link, as I actually thought right there. Okay, all right. You would also understand as well, please, um, the reason why he's actually just saying to me about turfing things out, turfing things out. I'm hearing turfing things out. And I want to again be placing this with a relevance to you at this present moment in time, my darling, okay? It's almost as though what I need to be acknowledging or indeed what this gentleman's making me acknowledge is that you've been turfing lots of things out. You've been having a good old rummage. You've been having a real good old sort out, okay? Because he's just saying to me, talk to her about turfing things out so again i'm just passing over that part of the information and doing my job as what they would expect us to do when they come through and make this link here with us all right okay um you would also understand as well with this gentleman why he wants to place um a discomfort um of uh, a pain um just above my um right eye as well uh, on my forehead here and and it's it's very specific on this part of my head where he's actually taking me at this present moment um, with that thought and, and indeed that feeling. So again, I don't know if I'm relating that to you or indeed if you can relate that to him, but I know that again, I just need to be passing that part of the information forward there. And also what he's actually saying to me as well, he's talking to me about, you totally understand that's perfect. Um, he's also talking to me about the month of October being some type of um, significant um, memory link i feel i need to say here october as a memory link you would understand as well um you have been chucking loads of stuff perfect okay it's, it's just his way of actually just coming close and and um just letting you know giving you that acknowledgement that um he's around but i don't feel that i need to actually be telling you that because i do understand that you are very spiritually minded and conscious of spirit always being around you anyway um but what I do want to be talking um, to you about, again, is we're, we're staying on that vein of, of turfing things out, all right? Because it's almost as though what he's wanting me to do now is spruce things up. It's almost as though what I want to be doing is I want to be making changes to my home because he's just placing lots of different colours into my mind, okay? So I know that you must be toying with ideas with regards to colours for the wall because he's just taking me behind myself and he's making me want to touch the wall for some reason. So I don't know what the significance is there, but he wants me to touch a wall. So there's something going on with a wall um, within your home that you can relate to, but also why I want to be placing lots of colors there. That's me, I get pain in my head, I got married in October. Perfect, thank you very much for validating that information. Um, just give me the feedback if you would, with regards to these color changes and why he wants me to touch a wall. Um, please, my darling. I don't know if I want to touch a wall in a religious sense uh, as well, because I've just had, I've just had, um, I've just had um, uh, like a, a religious um, feel come into my mindset with this gentleman. Like I want to touch something holy. Um, so again, please tell me if that's uh, correct, uh, my lovely. Okay, and you do feel spirit. Fantastic. Okay. 
So now that I've brought that information forward for you, and, and I hope that that all totally uh, relates, as you all know, the way that I work, all of you regulars here at Spiritual Psychics TV, before I send your loved ones back off up to the angels, I always like to get a parting gift. And that's generally, Karen, where the food comes in with me. <laughs> <laughs> because I've, I've, I've all of a sudden adapted to um, growing these additional chins, and I call them my lockdown chins. But it's spirit, really. They've been feeding me. <laughs> and Ruth is just saying that she's trying to move. Okay, so that would make sense with why wanting me to touch a wall and put this spruce of colours and make changes uh, around you at this present moment in time. But also, just please talk to me with regards to this religious aspect, okay? This religious link. Why is just placed religion into my mindset and, and, and just wanting to touch... It's almost as though I want to touch some type of holy grail or something like that. And again, I hope that that relates with you, uh, my darling. Um, I'm just um, asking him again if we can just have... Uh, a parting gift for you uh, before we uh, send him um, back off up to the angels. And do you know what he's doing with me? And indeed, it is food that um, he's feeding me here. He's actually giving me, um, he's giving me one of those, um, is it millionaires, um, millionaires uh, uh, shortbreads um, where you've got like, I can taste the shortbread and I've got like the caramel and the chocolate top on it. Okay, a square chocolate top um so i know that again that this gentleman would would have indeed been very fond of the sweet the sweeter things um okay because i, I just get a sense of wanting to have a cup of tea with it as well um but he's just giving me that millionaire's shortbread to give to you as a gift so indeed i need to be um patient and see again whether or not that relates to either you or he and if not, I need to then find out why symbolically that's been placed into my mouth. But it's this real caramel taste. Not sure on that one. Sorry, is that not sure on the caramel cake slice or with regards to the uh, religious uh, aspect that this gentleman's uh, bringing forward for me, my lovely? OK, but yeah, he's just placing this lovely sense of this caramel um, taste. He's almost taking me out of the shortbread element into a Twix bar as well now. Okay, so I know that I just need to be passing those two um, prezzies over to you. Okay, I feel as though one's uh, definitely a, a memory link around uh, this gentleman. Okay, and I feel that the other is a, a symbolic link. And what I want to be saying with regards to working with that on a symbolic link is that, you know, the sweeter things in life are still yet to come. So I need to acknowledge, okay, I need to acknowledge that the, the hardship that you've actually been through, he's, he's actually taking me back. He's actually giving me the number seven as he's doing so. So I feel as though I need to acknowledge either the last seven months or indeed the last seven years of your life where the sweet things have actually indeed started to slowly come into play, come into fruition. And yet I feel that there's still more to come. So I'm going to leave his love with you. I'm going to say God bless you, Rose, for working with me. Thank you so much. And I will pass over to Karen to uh, work on her first link. <laughs> that was lovely, Bill. Really lovely Thank link. You. Okay. I'm aware of um, a mum and a dad that are joining me from the spirit world. And I know that they're showing me like a lovely family scenario. And it actually reminds me of my own family scenario at home. Um, I know that dad had some problems with his chest. I know that he's got a rasping cough and I do feel that his heart, there must have been some issues with his heart. I also feel that the um, TV was a big important thing on uh, of an evening, especially on a Saturday night, Friday night. And I know that they would have watched programs like Dad's Army. But I also feel that there is a connection with somebody that in the family that may have been part of Dad's Army or some military connections there. Now, Mum is also here. And she's it, she's sort of in the in the background in the kitchen, and Mum loved uh, she because she's complimenting me on my dress, so she would have loved to dress up. So and she would have been sort of in the kitchen do, do, you know preparing all the lovely food. And I do know that Dad was a very hard working man, and I feel that he was a very practical man. So he worked because I feel he he would wash up when he came in. You know he come come in. And he would um, he would sort of get himself ready um, and sit down for his for his dinner. 
so I just they're, they're a lovely cut they're a lovely couple and it's almost as if they I feel they want to talk to um to a to their daughter or to a to a lady because I do feel that I'm that I'm drawn to any book a lady there so if somebody could you know take some of this information or part of this information please let me know and i'll give some more info um about this lovely this lovely family um i feel that dad was very much in charge of the telly you know he was the gentleman that sort of like decided what was going on and i don't know if there was a scenario whereby if dad fell asleep in in the chair you would sort of turn it over ah oh, right so stace says it sounds like her grandparents but do you understand, Stace, whereby the telly might have been turned over when dad was not around or um, he'd fallen asleep in the chair? Right. Oh, so he used to wash like that, granddad. OK. Would you understand also um, a connection with the army or some military um, background? Yeah, Grand Cook TV was evening on a Saturday. I've just got... It could be, it could be I'm like I'm watching a, a sitcom and I feel that um, the, the mum or gran would sort of shout from the kitchen, um, you know, to, to dad and to the family. Um, and I just feel that they, they come with a lot of love and I feel that they're a very traditional family and enjoyed the simple things in life. You know, being with the family, Right, talking about my mum and dad and military and my family. That's Tina. So we've got Stace and we've got Tina. OK, ladies, listen, listen. Uh, and granddad fell asleep in the okay and had to wake him up. OK, but would you understand where this gentleman was a bit of a sport fiend as well? He liked his cricket. He liked his football. And I feel that he used to be, you know, really quite keen um, on on the TV, on the on the sport. And I feel at one time. Our mum always turned over when dad fell asleep. But I feel that he would have played sport at one time. He would have, when he was a young man, he would um, he would have played sport. And I've, I see him kicking a ball, so I'm not sure if it's rugby or football. Um, so I just feel, I want to, so we've got Stace and we've also got Tina. So I just want you ladies to tell me if, um, fo if, if this gentleman played um sport tina's saying yes definitely so is that for the sport tina is that for the sport because i see as a young man he would have had some sort of trophy or some sort of trophy would have he would have would have been connected with him and i and i also feel that he would shout at the telly as well you know when they were doing things wrong um i and i and i've just got the sense where he has got this sense of where he, he, he was very um, cricket. Yes, not football, though. OK, I did feel it's it, right. OK, I feel I want to go with Tina because it seems to be ticking the box. And I did feel it was a ball. And would you understand, Tina, where um, dad was, you know, he had his opinions on things. He um, was he was very strong in his opinions, but. I feel that he, his bark was worse than his bite. You know, he could he, he said a lot, but I do feel he had a soft side as well. And mum's making me also aware that when dad would be going off on one, you know, when he'd be ranting or having a moan, she would roll her eyes. Now, sorry, but it's food. Uh, lots of golf trophies. OK, so you can understand golf trophies. OK. Um, but would you understand he's showing me roast beef, Yorkshire pudding and all the trimmings. So I feel that Sunday lunch or some, you know, was was very important in the house. Would you understand that? Let's just see if she can take that while I just have a little sip of my. Uh... It's thirsty work, this. He wore the trousers, but so loving. Yeah, he was. But I also feel that mum, you know, she was she wasn't a pushover as well and i feel that mum knew how to get round him she knew what to say and i feel that you in the family would go to mum to get round dad that's what i feel and mum would say leave it with me love I'll, I'll sort things out this is what she's making me aware of um it's such a lovely family scenario it really is and they come with a lot of love for you 
Oh, she do, he's a northerner. Yes, I do understand. Yeah, I love the north. I love the north of England. I, I visit the north a lot. So I just feel that they, he comes with a great deal of love. And um, they his words are we all rubbed along together. You know, I feel that what he has, he shared. And I feel that when he got his pay packet, um, when he got his pay packet on a Friday, you know, everything went into the pot for the family. Oh, she's saying spot on. Lovely. Thank you. Everything went into the pot for the family. And he's talking about overtime at Christmas. So I feel he would have, you know, been up at the crack of dawn and done lots of overtime to get. Now, would you understand, Tina, a doll that you wanted? Uh, um, it. I don't know if it's one of those tiny a large family, not much money. But would you understand a special doll or a special present that you wanted when you were about five or six? I, it, it, you know, sometimes we can't always think back, but I just feel there was something special that you, your mum and dad saved up for, um, for you, because they're, they're, they're just showing me this doll. Um, and, um, okay, what else are you... Um, and I feel that your mum, she's showing me now. I know, I know I can see Bill's got his father Christmases and his candles behind him. Um, and I feel that your mum loved Christmas, putting up the Christmas tree and tinsel and um, sparkly lights, sparkly lights. And they come with a lot of love. And um, mum just wants to draw close to you at this time um, because I feel that you've been asking for a little bit of support from mum and other loved ones in the spirit world. All right, okay, oh crumbs, I was just talking about this. <laughs> okay, okay. But mum draws really close to you at this time um, because she knows that you've been needing a little bit of help and support and she comes with the love and support that she would have given you. She's also showing me you sitting round. I feel that you may have sat at the table when she was doing all her uh, bits and bobs. And she's also just brought, uh, was a family affair, absolutely. And I, she's now just brought in a plate of mince pies as well. And they're not from the shops. I feel she would have made them. These are homemade mince pies and they're always the best ones, aren't they? So she comes with a beautiful plate of mince pies for you and lots of love. And enjoy your Christmas. And um, it's just such a lovely family scenario. So thank you very much for working with me. Thank you. Oh, that was a lovely message, wasn't it, Karen? Oh, that well, it, I got the I love to get the emotion, Bill, as you know. <laughs> yeah, that was lovely. It was lovely. Such a lovely message there for you, Tina. I hope that that uh, brings you a lot of love and comfort, my darling. Oh, um, wish I... I, I'm sure I'm sure it will. Have we got anybody else that's saying hello there, uh, Producer Richard? I could see a few comments were flashing up. Ooh. <laughs> Sure. Tina's saying, oh, thank you so much, Carol. Um, my pleasure, Tina. My pleasure. And Barbara's Bar popping Barbara up the and the staff. Oh, oh that's lovely. Oh, Natalie Bennett. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> Rhonda Robertson, beautiful message to Tina. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, look, we're getting all festive, Bill. Yes. <laughs> Thank you saying, get baking, Tina. <laughs> Yes, okay. So, guys, oh, guys, 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 I've got something very special that I want to share with you all here this evening on Spiritual Psychics TV. So, come a little bit closer <laughs> to the screen, right? Because I promised you, didn't I, that on the 17th of December, the last collective consciousness of the year, we would be doing something completely different and bringing something wonderful for all of you regular viewers and indeed you lovely new viewers that are joining us here for the first time this evening. So we're going to play you a little video uh, with an insight as to what's coming your way in two weeks time. I'm so excited. I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, producer Richard.
<laughs> How exciting is that, guys? How exciting <laughs> is that? So, <laughs> so, in my wisdom, what I decided to do was bring everybody back that's been on the show. Um, sadly, Ian Mason and Craig Morris can't be with us on the evening because they've got commitments elsewhere. Um, but as you saw on the intro, we've got the lovely Charlene Austin, Charlotte Underwood, Gary Wright, Helen Ayres, Karen Wright, Karen Wood, Sarah Warman, and Trudy Hutton, all collectively coming on board on the 17th of December to do a mediumship uh, medley. So how amazing will that be? So I hope that you can all join us. I'm really, really excited about that now. That's raised the energy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on and uh, work on my uh, next link um, with uh, whom it is that I need to uh, bring forward here now. Um, because this lady was actually um, thinking about doing the Lambeth Walk uh, with me. So I know that I've got a connection, a very strong connection with this lady um, to the, the south of London. Okay. And what she did do with me was to get my attention. She went to me, oi, oi. So I know that this would have been terminology that this lady is indeed would have actually um, had used. Okay. I feel as though I want to get, again, the um, acknowledging the fact that I, I feel more so that somebody will relate to um, this lady as being Nan, but I, obviously I need to acknowledge that she was mum as well. So um, I can see you all popping up all of your excited comments there. Uh, I've got to focus, Bill. Focus. Okay. <laughs> so I know that I need to acknowledge this lady saying, oi, okay, and getting my attention. And I feel as though she would have done this with the recipient that can relate to the information that I'm going to start uh, bringing forward, okay? But I do need to be acknowledging doing the Lambeth Walk, okay? And I don't know if it's because that's got a bit of a oi in it as well, why she's put that into my mindset. But I feel with those, all of the old-fashioned songs, all of the old-fashioned wartime songs as well, all of the London Link songs with the pearly kings and queens, I just feel that that's of great um, significance with this lady. I getting the taste of jelly deals being placed into my mouth, which I don't like. Tracy saying, sounds like your mum. Okay, darling, just keep listening to me, all right? Because it's really important, Tracy, that you take this oi, all right? Because she's not taking it off of me at this present moment. And you know, you know as well that, like, it plays havoc with my knees, she's telling me, okay? So I feel as though there would have been some type of condition around her, God bless her, which played havoc with her knees, all right, because she's just drawing me into them at this present moment in time. I do feel, um, I do feel very uncomfortable, okay? Um, Michelle, you're saying my nan kept on at me to focus, okay? So I've got Tracy and Michelle at uh, this present moment, moment who, who can relate, relate uh, to this, this information. information. Can, can you also understand why she's pleased, lady, bringing through the doing the Lambeth Walk? So I don't know if this would have been something that she would have sung or indeed if I actually need to be going into Lambeth links with this lady or indeed around the family, okay? Uh, Michelle, Nan would go to the dancing halls, okay? So I wonder if she's therefore trying to say to me and get across with that information about it playing havoc with her knees, whether or not it was where she done so much dancing. And she actually had this um, problem from that, from her knees. And you also have a bad knee as well, Michelle. Okay, we will ask the healing angels to come close to you um, and give you that healing. Tracy, you're saying she loved them. She always said, oi, especially to you. Okay, so you're both getting... Um, parts of this uh, uh, information that this lady is giving me. Okay, I just want to bring the essence of her forward now, okay, so I know um, who she's going to relate to. I want to say, yeah, there could very well be a double link in Michelle, which is absolutely fine. I don't mind working with two people, that's great, okay? What I do want to say is that I do actually feel with this lady, she starts blending and coming closer to me, okay? Tracy, you sang it together in the club. Right, okay, okay. Um, what I do want to say is I feel with this lady that my physicality would have changed quite dramatically 
towards the build-up of my passing, okay? Because she just makes me feel as though I'm shrinking, okay? Michelle, yes, Lamberthorpe was played at all our parties, okay? I feel as though we're getting a bit of a double link, so that's fine, all right. But you would understand about the physicality of this lady indeed, okay? Um, I feel as though I'm shrinking, okay? But you would understand why she's placing that into my mind as well, because I just want to say that as this lady aged, okay, as this lady aged, you would understand about her frame, as most uh, elderly people um, do indeed um, experience. But she's just given me a great sense and understanding that her frame would have narrowed down. But it would have narrowed down to the point where I do feel as though, you know, it would have distorted me slightly because she's just wanting to take me off key. She's just wanting to take me off balance as she's giving me that part of the information. So I feel as though I need to be, I feel as though, like, I want to say within my spine that there would have been a bit of a, a change to the shape of my spine with this lady because I just feel as though I'm tilting over to one side or I'm carrying myself in a way, okay, Michelle saying due to her illness, okay, and she did change, okay, all right. Tracy, if you don't mind, um, I'd, I would like to work with Michelle on this link, if I can, my darling, but again, please do take comfort from um, the information that you've been able to actually relate to so far. Yes, her frame was tiny towards the end. Okay, Michelle, I'm going to continue to um, work with you, okay, I have... I have with her, okay, I have a, a distaste in my mouth with this lady as she's coming closer. She's making me understand about this this distaste that I need to be making reference to that you, you can understand with, with regards to um, me just, I just want to say that I've got a distaste in my mouth. My mouth doesn't feel correct, all right? It's almost as though she would have been conscious or she would have said to, to you uh, about, there not being a correct taste within her mouth, okay? And again, if this doesn't relate, then I need to be be relating this distaste in my mouth to a scenario um, placed around you at this present moment in time, uh, Michelle. So again, I am aware we've got a few seconds delay, so I'm just being conscious as I'm giving the information she's given it to me and giving you enough time to actually uh, converse back with me via the comments there. Okay, for some reason as well. Okay, sorry, Richard. Okay, um, I understand that Hannah can also take this information as well. I do feel as though I need to work with Michelle. I, I have to say that I just feel as though this is right, this connection, uh, Richard. So if you wouldn't mind, I, I will, um, I will continue to uh, work with this link. But again, Hannah. Please take love and comfort from this um, as, as I'm continuing to move forward with uh, Michelle here. Michelle, as well, um, what I do need to... I know that you are a medium, Michelle. I'm not going to pretend that I don't know who you are because I do, but I know nothing about you, and I'm sure that you will absolutely um, validate that by placing it up in the uh, comments uh, there. Okay, but Michelle, what I do want to be saying, and the reason why I've said that is because she's just given me parts of spiritual information that I need to be bringing forward for you, okay? Because you would understand about Nan um, actually um, working with you, okay? Okay, because she's talking about Nan working with me, okay? She's just put those words into my head, so you would understand that. But she, she's, she's taking me and she's, she's, she's taking me up to my head and she's touching me a lot on my head as, as she's giving me that information. So again, I know that it would be an awful lot of mind-to-mind -mind communication, you would understand why she's giving me that part of the info and, uh, and and why she's making that reference, okay? Michelle, again, I just want to say that I just, I'm being drawn as she's blending with me to the top of my thighs as well, okay? Um, she's just making me feel uncomfortable in, uh, uh, in my thighs, at the top parts of my legs. I feel as though, again, this is a, a healing element that she's asking me to, um, bring forward which we need to acknowledge for you and again ask the healing angels to come close and place that where it needs to be placed at this present moment uh, in time okay what she's actually making me want to do as well she's actually making me want to pick my pen up and she's actually making me want to actually write bold words okay bold power words okay so what i want to say to you is that you're you're working on something spiritually where, where you, you can connect, connect with 
power word. And I do need to emphasize the word power especially, okay, because it's almost as though what I want to be doing is I want people to be feeding off of the energy of that word that I'm actually projecting and I'm putting out there. Okay, so please let me know if that information she's given me is correct or indeed if I've actually understood that correctly. But power words and, and your words being um, absolutely powerful as well. Ouch, yep. Guys, okay, my darling, so we will ask the healing angels to place that healing where it needs to go there uh, this evening, okay? She does actually just make me want to draw my breath um, slightly, okay? She just wants me to catch my breath as she comes a little bit closer, and I will get her to step back a little bit, so I do need to acknowledge, um, indeed, uh, okay, you've been working from home and you've been right in power words. Perfect. Okay. I knew that there was a relevance there, but I need to catch my breath with her. Okay. Um, so I know that I need to acknowledge um, once again that this would have been part of the condition. And I need to say part of the condition. Okay. Because I feel as though with this lovely lady that there would have been an awful lot of things that were going on within my body. Okay. Because she's just taken me all over the place at this present moment in time. But as she's taken me all over the place, she's actually making my mind my mindset feel like I'm wobbly and I'm all over the place as well. So I understand that there would have been a, a great sense of confusion for her, God love her, um, towards the end before she would have passed over uh, into spirit, okay? Um, I want to say, though, that she just, I am also being conscious of your words too. Okay, fine, because of the power. That's exactly what it was she was making me aware of, and you are breathless. Okay, my darling, all right. So again, we'll just ask that, that, that element of the healing angels just to come closer and give you what it is that you need um, right now, okay? Um, but what she's doing, funny enough, is she's just making my phone, uh, my earpiece, beep a lot, okay? So, um, and it doesn't generally do that. Um, so I, I understand that I need to be going up to my ears, okay, with you and your communication links with spirit, okay? Because that's what she's just placing and drawing me to at this present moment in time. And again, about hearing, okay? Um, I need to be acknowledging the hearing, um, and you're saying, yes, lots of confusion. Thank, Thank you very you. much for validating that for me. But just talk to me about the hearing, okay? Why she's drawing me into my hearing. I feel this is with you. I understand this is with you, what she just makes me want to, um, <laughs> make me understand. It's almost as though you, you, you've got a, a greater insight and in-depth to the hearing ability that spirit are actually uh, using and working with you at this present moment um, on your journey, I have to say. Okay, um, all right. Okay, but yes, I, I just want to say again that she just wants to take me down memory lane, all right? And what she wants me to do with you, okay, um, I want to take you to the old-fashioned market stalls all right it's almost as though what she wants me to do she's placing into my mindset and because it would resonate with me but i hope it does with you she wants to take me to the sunday market down at wimbledon down at wimbledon dog tracks okay um i don't know if it's still there but for some reason she's taking me down plow lane in wimbledon plow lane in wimbledon and she's taking me to the dog tracks as well okay where they would have had a sunday market so i know that there's some type of significance uh, with this information that she's given me here, that you, it you will be totally relatable to you, okay? Um, but I just feel with this lady that I've got a great sense of having a bit of a, a love. I'm putting power words on stones for people. Perfect. Um, I just feel with this lady that um, I loved a bit of a bargain. I loved a bit of a haggle. I love, because she's just placing all of like the market traders and, you know, them shouting and them calling out, especially with the fruits and the vegetables, okay? Yes, Spirit are telling lots, and I'm using the info to help others. Perfect, great. That's what we're all here for on our spiritual pathway is to absolutely help each other, one another, 100%. Okay, yes, the old market store my stepfather worked on. Perfect, I know that she was bringing it out, but you could understand it at Wimbledon. Perfect, and you would also understand why I want to call out, all right? Um, and I want to be really cockney with it as I'm doing it. And I, I want to be calling out about the apples and the pears and like the fruit and the veg and like, um, you know, half a pound. And it, it, all this all this info is just like being bombarded into my head at this moment as she's actually giving it to me. I do know as well that um, she's just given me a great sense of taste of wanting to actually suck on um, 
stuck on a humbug, okay? Because she's just given me a humbug sweet to pass over to you. She's given me a gift. And she's actually making my nose feel really itchy as well. She's doing that. So I need to acknowledge um, her nose for some reason or that itch. Or she would have done something like this to, to if not her nose, to the children's noses. You do have a picture of your stepdad at the market working. Perfect. Okay, so I know that she just wanted to bring that information for us. Your dad is the fruit and vegetable. Perfect. That's why she was giving me the apples, pears, and all the other veg that went with that. All right. But can you understand as well, because she's making me talk really fast now, because she's getting really excited with me. <laughs> God bless her. All right. But can you just understand as well why she's giving me this significance of wanting to play with my nose? Okay, so I don't know if she would have actually have done this or she would have done that to you or, or the younger generation where she would have like pinched her nose and like maybe put her finger between her, her thumb between her fingers like that and made it look as though she had your nose. Um, and again, let me know if that makes, um, uh, if that makes sense. Yep. Cool out. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, um, I have to, oh, you have to up your fruit and veg doctor to advise. Okay. So she's brought that in with, a double meaning there, okay? Your granddad loved the humbugs as well. Perfect, okay. All right, um, and dad used to nick the kids' noses. Okay, so I know that she was bringing that forward for, for whatever reason that may be. So I'm going to say God bless you, Michelle. Thank you so much uh, for working with me. Um, I could work with her all night. Actually, she's, got <laughs> such a, she's got such a naughty sense of character, and I like that because I like being naughty. But I'm going to have to pass over to Karen because I can see that she's moving about, so I know she's got a link and she needs to bring someone forward. So uh, God bless you, Michelle. Thanks for working with me, and uh, we'll see you all soon once lockdown's finished in Wimbledon spiritualist touch take care my lovely over to you karen thank you bill yes i have got a link and i've had this gentleman with me for a, a while um i don't feel he's that old um when when he passed and i feel he's making me aware it's either some sort of stroke um condition um because i just feel like i've got a feeling down my face and down this arm and i just feel that he it sort of um he had some issues with his physical body as well, this gentleman. I feel he suffered a lot with his, phys with his physical body. And I also feel, now, um, this sounds a bit contradiction in what I'm, I'm going to say, say, but I, I don't, don't know, know if, if running, running is connected with, with him when he was a bit younger or if running is connected with the person that um, is, is this gentleman is reaching out to here. Because I've got that song, Keep On Running, so I feel that running is um, is connected with the person that's here, but could also be connected with the gentleman in spirit. I feel this gentleman suffered a lot with his body, but I feel that his mind was was quick. I feel that he was on the ball and um, he's, he had a, he was very quick witted. And but I just feel I feel that he's struggled and I've, he's making me now move my arm as if he couldn't move that arm. And I feel that it went sort of all across to his hat, to his hands as well. In fact, I feel that one thing led to another with this gentleman. And I don't I'm, I'm not I'm not sure if he didn't he didn't make old bones. Um, I'm thinking maybe. 50s something like that or possibly a bit younger i know that he's got um he's got sort of darkish hair um and i feel that he is um he's got a great sense of humor as well i feel he's family um i feel he's family so is this making any sense to anybody at the moment does do, can you understand this this lovely gentleman that's come through let's just see nothing yet okay, okay. OK, let me just get a little bit more information um, from him. Now, I know that we've just come into December from November, but I do feel that November is a, is quite an important month. And I want to go to around the 25th, 26th of November. But I also feel there's um, the 17th as well, something around around the 17th. And he keeps drawing attention to this running track. So something about running is 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 quite important. I also feel with this gentleman that he would have had problems um, with his chest as well. And I do feel that he may have been bedridden or couldn't get about very much toward, towards the towards the end of his life. Um, let's just see. But 
Okay. He's also making me feel that he loved to read, and I feel that he possibly liked to write or something about writing um, could be connected with the person with the person that's here. Is this making any sense to anybody at the moment? Okay. Sylvia, my dad had a stroke at 69. Okay, okay Sylvia, so um, I'll, I'll keep talking to you then. Would you understand um, something about writing, either connected with him or connected with you? But also, would you understand something about this running as well? You see if that makes sense um, to you. Now, I do know I, I, I do know Sylvia. We have met in Zoom rooms. I've never met her in person. So I do know a little bit um, about her, but not a great deal. I've only known I've, I've only, only met, met her a, a few times in, in workshops and what have you. But it's lovely. It's lovely that she's that she's come on to give some support tonight. I just feel that this gentleman was very worldly, worldly wise as well. Um, I was so confused why it was lights out when you are. I've just realized it's background thingy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, my background, that one I've taken from one of the pictures at Bateman's, which is just down the road from me, where I live in Burwash in East Sussex. My dad had a stroke. He had greyhounds. Oh, lovely, lovely. I like, I'm, I'm a big dog fan, as you know. So I just, would you understand, Sylvia, that dad had mobility issues um, towards the end I feel and I feel he used to get very frustrated with this as well and I feel he wasn't very happy because I uh, can take everything except the running I'm the writer okay all right then so we've got Stace and we've got we've got we've got Sylvia Sylvia have a think about the running because I just see if that, that makes sense because when I work um, me writing my daughter started to run okay I'm a bit of a stickler for uh, as Bill will tell you, I, I like the, the evidence to go to the right recipient, and I do like to to get to to get the specific the specific evidence to the right person. So, if you don't mind, Stace, I'm going to work with Sylvia because I do feel that that I am there. But still, but still, listen. Um, would you understand, Sylvia, that this she started running because something because of lockdown? I feel that it's sort of. Um, keeping her motivated and I feel it's been doing her some good because I feel this gentleman um, sort of I, I feel that he got a little bit down um, towards the end of his life when he couldn't move and I feel that he wished that he could move but I feel that the way he got through it was to use his mind to use his mind so I feel that he's really proud of that your daughter has started to use her, you know to do the opposite to run and, and to use all those physical muscles that sadly he he struggled with um he wants to give um yes couldn't walk i thought there was i just felt i couldn't move um bless him he's but i feel that he still laughed um he still enjoyed people coming to see him and um he wants to send a lot of love to you and he's very proud of you um, for all that you did and all that you did around that time when he was poorly because he's making me aware that you used to cheer him up the most I feel that you used to go in and always put a smile on his face and I feel there was a bit of banter between you as well um, he used to sort of like there was all and I feel there was a great deal of banter um, with within within the family he's also drawing attention to a garden now, I know, I know I, I'm not sure if it's, yes, lockdown, good, that's with, with the daughter. Um, I know uh, he's drawing attention to a garden. So, so I'm not, not sure, sure if it's your garden, garden or his garden, garden but he's, he's showing, showing me sort, sort of, um, Bill's had, had the fruit and veg, I've got the herbs. I'm seeing like a herb box, or I don't know if you've been starting to grow herbs and um you know, to put in your own, in, we're back to cooking again, um, to put in your casseroles and things like that. But I do feel that he loved um, good home cooking. Um, and he's showing me this big pot with everything in it, you know, potatoes, carrots, leeks, um, you know, like a real broth and meat. You put everything in it. And I just feel that... Um, He's just bringing that as a memory link to you. Um, OK, oh, right, right. OK. Now, I'm hearing a name and it sounds like Frank. And I'm also hearing the name 
Fred or Freddy. I don't know if you can understand those names, um, but that's what he's making me aware of. OK, um, I feel he always had a sense of pride um, with him. Right. She, yeah. OK. OK. She was close to him. But would you also understand the sense of pride, Sylvia, with his family? And I also feel that there was stomach issues. And I, I don't know if that's with somebody else, but he's talking about somebody having stomach issues or problems with their tummy. Um, and I feel this is where he wants to bring in all the fresh fruit and all the um, it's like a soup. It's like a, a, a home a homemade soup that he's that. And I feel it, it was that's what he used to enjoy. That's what he, um, my hubby grows veg. I grow herbs and weeds. OK, that's lovely, Sylvia. Um, and I also feel he's telling me that that's how you get through things. You go out into the into nature. He used to make soup for the dog. <laughs> I love it. Well, I didn't want to say, but I'll say it now. He's actually shown me putting the carcass of like a chicken into this stock. So that's when everything went in. So that's why, because I was thinking, oh, my God, fancy putting that in the soup pot. But it was actually for the dog. Oh, I love that. I think that's cracking. I'll have to make that for mine. <laughs> oh, that did make me laugh. Yes, my brother Frank and uncle, not sure about Freddie. OK, that's lovely. Um, he's really proud of the family. And would you also understand, he's shown me a piano. So I feel that somebody played the piano and there was um, sort of like um, sing-alongs as well. Um, let me just see what he's trying. He's trying to. Um, OK. All right. And I, again, I feel. Um, so, what's he singing? Right. He's shown me. Um, He's, he's showing me him having a drink or party party atmosphere, especially at Christmas time. And right, I thought it was you, Sylvia. Funny enough, I thought it was talking about your stomach. But would you understand some funny song, which was a little bit rude or you know a, a bit risque in part, shall we say, that I couldn't repeat on on public. Um, TV, um, but I just feel that, he, that it's singing this song where everybody would join in with the chorus, and I feel it's something. It's it's somebody's name in the song, um, and I feel that um, right. And would you sh sheep said, <laughs> "Oh my God!" Um, and would you understand? Um, now I I do know your your, your connections with Ireland. But would you understand that this gentleman could speak Gaelic or there's this this song is gay in Gaelic because I'm here. Oh, we had the, an older piano. That's lovely. But I just feel that this gentleman could speak Gaelic because I'm hearing something in my in my head here that I can't actually understand. But I do. But I do feel this gentleman had quite a um, a lovely broad rich accent as well which, which I, I absolutely I love, I love people's accents, accents and the way, way that they speak, speak but, but I'm, I'm just, just hearing this beautiful broad accent that's coming through from him and um right okay um and he's also talking about roll out the barrel so I don't know if there was a barrel of beer or something that you that you used to be rolling out to, to, for for get-togethers but that's what he's making me right my my uncle used to sing okay okay um but they, but he's coming with a great deal of love for you and I feel he wants to say thank you um for everything that you did for him but he's also very proud of your daughter and he's telling her to keep on running because i feel it will be really good for her to um build herself up a bit because i feel that she's been through a bit of a tough time and she needs to keep um running and i don't know if she's actually signed up for a, for like a 5k run or something like that but he's saying she's doing really well and it's keeping her motivated and, and focused on what she needs to do and she he also wants to send um not him but my auntie did okay okay, okay. okay. Um, but he's just he just wants to send a lot of love to you and all the family. So take his love and thank you for working with me. OK, oh, over to you, Bill. Karen. Oh, another lovely reading. Thank you so much. That was so lovely. It's always nice to, to watch you work um, because it, 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 it's, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, when we've been together, it's always been no, Bill. 
go back, get the information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Bill, you're standing in the wrong position. I can't hear you at the back of the church. What else is it that that communicator is telling you, Bill? So it's lovely to actually see you work and us doing this alongside. I know, right? I know. Uh, it's, so, it's lovely. I've really enjoyed this. Was, was, so, I that, was I that tough on you, Bill? Was I that tough? <laughs> do you know what? You was tough, but I needed it. Mm. You know, I needed it um, because we all need to be disciplined. We're all brought to our teachers for a specific reason. And um, that element of discipline was definitely needed with you. Oh, so uh, thanks, thank you. I, I enjoyed it. Oh, it's been my pleasure. And look at you now. You're doing so well. I'm a very proud teacher. So well done. Oh, God bless very you. God bless you. Proud. Very so proud. we're going to work on the double link in a minute. Oh, are we? Do just, yeah. So what I'll do just before we uh, go into the double link, um, I don't know if you want to start working on bringing somebody forward. Okay. And whilst you're doing so, I'm just going to run through um, what we've got coming up on uh, the uh, channel tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow at 11.30, you've got the lovely Sam with her rune reading. That's Sam O'Neill. Tomorrow morning at 11.30 a.m. And then you've got the lovely Bev Man with Exploring Your Awareness. And that's tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock. And then in the evening at eight o'clock, you've got the lovely Ashley Robinson and the wonderful show regarding all things spiritual and philosophy, independence, responsibility, integrity, and trust. So that's three wonderful shows lined up for you tomorrow and i believe that there's a trance demonstration that's also um available um this coming week which is sunday the 6th of december and as you can see on screen guys this is a paid event and all of the relevant information that you need for accessibility can be found uh just in the um uh comments section there below and also on the main uh facebook page so um if you're interested in that one with with poly it's not on facebook sorry richard no was that okay right so we're having a bit of difficulty for some of uh you that don't know with regards to facebook at the minute so we're not Actually, actually, people tie the way that we normally do so. So, that's the reason why we're doing it for a minute via YouTube. But I'm sure that if you go on to Polly's page, you. Okay, the Spiritual Psychics TV fan page, you'll be able to see all of the relevant information there. So, thank you very much, guys. And Karen, Sylvia's just saying, not in, but my auntie did. So oh, right. I think that's in relation yeah. to um, yeah. uh, part of the message that you uh, gave her there. Um, and also, my friend's dad was a manager of a pub. We played on the barrels. Right. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> uh, and Emma's just popping up a love heart. Mary's oh. saying what a lovely message it was as well. So, oh, that's know. lovely. That's lovely. My pleasure. Oh, oh, isn't it nice? <laughs> it is, it is. It's a lovely, as, as we, you know, as I've said to you before we come come on air, and Richard, um, it is a lovely community. Everybody is so lovely here. And oh, bless they you. All, they all share like it's going out of fashion, don't you guys? Oh, that, that's really nice. <laughs> that's really nice. It's how it should be. <laughs> oh, and Heidi, thank you oh. for as well, Bill. How lovely is that? <laughs> thank you, Heidi. And Laura oh, saying she's a great you, teacher. Laura. Oh, thank oh, you. you. Oh, that's oh, another you. one of mine, Charlotte. <laughs> there you go, you see? There you go. So shall we work on this double link? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, oh, what's that? When are we doing Sofa Watch? Oh, that's exciting. Oh, right, not, okay. Not tonight, babe. Okay. Not tonight. Not tonight. Okay. <laughs> I've got a lady that draws close to me, Bill. Um, and I actually feel that she's somebody's mother-in-law because I got mother-in-law first. And I feel that she wants to say thank you to um, a daughter-in-law um, because this lady is making me aware 
that the daughter-in-law became very much like her daughter. There was that closeness. And she's laughing because she's saying that, you know, I don't think they were too sure of each other at, the, at first, but I do feel that this this lady, uh, this daughter-in-law was, was um, helped this, la this lady a lot. I, I, I don't know if they lived together, or, or but I do know that the daughter-in-law was um, cared a lot for this lady um, by looking after her in, in, in that in that capacity. Um, she OK, right. She's making me aware. She said I wasn't always easy to get along with sometimes. And I do feel that she spoke her mind. And sometimes she got, she's saying, she got misunderstood. But I do feel she was one of these ladies that said it as it was. You know, she just came right out with it and didn't think before sometimes she spoke. And she's laughing. But she, she was, was honest. honest. And I, I do, do feel, feel there was that honest, honesty with her. I do feel that she was a very generous lady as well, um, that she would give. Um, she would give of herself. And I feel that she was a very hardworking lady. She's making me aware that once she either worked in cleaning or she was, you know, a bit fastidious about cleaning. You know, everything had to be spick and span. So I just feel that she's just coming. I feel that she would have worn glasses because she's drawing attention to mine. Um, and I feel that she used to lose them quite a lot as well. Um, OK, she's making me aware of the name of Helen. Now, I'm not saying it's her name, but I just feel that Helen could be connected as well. Um, OK. Now, again, I'm not sure. If, I've got 33. So I'm not sure if that's a door number, but I've just seen my mother in law passed away and I stayed with her while she was in hospital. That's Tracy. OK. I'm getting the, the number 33. So, so I, I, I don't, don't know if there's another, another 33, 33 bus, bus that, that is connected because I did see a bus um, or a 33 is a door or, or an age. Um, so we've got, Tra we've got Tracy here. My mother-in-law passed away and I stayed with her while she was in hospital. Hello, Tracy. Um, that, that's, that's really lovely. Um, she's just making me aware that she really struggled towards the end of her life. Um, and I feel that she had some communication problems. And I feel that also she, yes, yeah, she said it how it was and was definitely had a kind heart. Yes, yeah, she was a cleaner and she wore glasses. I think I think we're with Tracy, Bill. So okay, I don't know if you yeah. if you want to um, um, come in. Yeah, I've, I've got a couple of bits that, that I'm getting given at this present moment in time. I'm conscious of dressings and changing dressings with this lady. And I'm getting the smell. Of, is it the antiseptic that um, used to come? Is it the dental antiseptic? You know, that would have been put on us. When we were younger, if we fell over, yeah. and it used to get dabbed on us. She's just giving me that that sense and that feeling of actually stinging, stinging, and being, being drawn to this smell and dressing tank over. So I need to acknowledge that with this lady. But also, she wants to give me strawberries and cream. She wants to give me strawberries and fresh cream, this lady. Okay. So again, I feel as though I need to be acknowledging that as a memory link between Tracy and this lady, um, okay? And, and and what I do need to be saying about the cream is I don't want it to be single. I want it to be double, but I want it to be really, really thick as well, okay? Because she's just given me a great sense of this being quite dense as she's placing it into my mouth, um, okay? Um, but yeah, I certainly need to give you strawberries and cream, um, Tracy, for whatever reason that may be. And I'm also hearing April. I don't know if she's referring to that as a name or indeed if she's taking me to April as a month of significance that you can relate to with this lady. So that's what I've got so far as I've started to work on this link, Karen. Okay, okay. She's she wants she doesn't want to talk about too much about what happened towards the end. Because because no I don't I don't want to talk about that. And I do feel with her that she struggled with illness throughout her life. Um, you know, she didn't like being ill. Um, and I and I feel that she she's was a very she, she loves strawberries and cream, cream double only, only fantastic, fantastic. fantastic. Um, I feel that she was a very hard working lady and she's showing me oh gosh. There used to be an advert on the telly, um, and it was the flash advert with one of them squeegee mops, and I feel that she would run round her kitchen floor 
um, you know, before she went out the door, um, because cleaning her kitchen floor was really important to her. And I feel that you could actually eat your dinner off of this kitchen floor because it's so it, it's so shiny. And I feel it's one of those kitchen floors with the squares in that used to be like the um, April's an anniversary and passing and birthday. Lovely. Um, and um, I feel that she was um, would, would be rushing out um, from from the kitchen with a with a with a muck, 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 and muck, muck and bucket before she went on to um i just feel she was always rushing in her younger years she went from job to job and cleaning was really important yes yeah, and i feel that strength tracy i i really do um and she's saying that you and her shared um a special time um, and she re she recognised the strength in you, but she also recognised your work, your work ethic and your your kindness and your commitment to family, because I feel that's what drew you together. You know, that that was very important to her. And I feel that she wasn't one. She didn't like people to tell her fibs either. She liked the truth. Nothing but the truth. It was that that sort that sort of feeling. And I also feel that um would you understand earrings because she's just drawing attention to my earrings so i don't know uh, yet yeah, washing around is always rushing around but i don't know if you have her earrings or if she bought you earrings um as if you, she bought you earrings for a gift or if you have have her earrings but, but she's just, just she's just making me um aware of that what, are you getting anything else, Bill? What do you feel about this? You know what? I, yeah, do you know what? I feel as though what she's trying to make me understand at this moment in time, and I want to be taken to a male member of her family, okay? So I feel as though I need to be connecting to her son. I'm not saying that he's passing to spirit. I'm saying that I want to be here on the earth plane with this gentleman. But for some reason, Tracy, what she's doing is she's actually making me feel and have a great under... What she's doing is she's putting a handcuff on me. OK, and she's just making me feel as though there was some type of significance with um, the law because she's talking to me about the law. All right. So I, I feel as though I need to be I don't need to be disappointed, but I'm disappointed with a situation that, that was brought to my front door because if she's doing it with me. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing it with me. She's giving me a prize. And she's playing, playing out that, that scenario in my head, head about wanting to hit someone on the edge with a frying pan. So I don't know if you can relate to why she's bringing that, but you, you know, know what? She's saying to me, I don't feel embarrassed, but what she's, what she's certainly doing is she's just bringing forward about the legalities of things, all right, about the changes of legalities of things with me and how she was really angry and she's wanting to put the world to rights that's as much as i can say about that um and again i hope that that uh, that that relates and, and that makes um sense what she is making me feel as well with you at this present moment in time you would understand is i know it sounds cliche because it has been cold the last couple of days but my feet are freezing my feet are like blocks of ice um tracy's saying she bought the, yeah, the earrings and she still has them fantastic but Tracy, can you understand why my feet are like blocks of ice at the minute? I feel like I need to be relating that to you. And it's almost as though what I just want to be doing is I just want to be like, I don't know if this would have been this lady now, now but like, what I want to be doing is just having like the lower half of my body covered up with a very thick, warm blanket as well. So she's just placing that into my mindset as well as she's um, as she's giving me that part of the information. And yeah, that's as far as I've got with with with, with what she's placed uh, on me at this present moment in time, Karen. I just want to finish off here, Tracy, um, because um, as you were talking about the handcuff bill and, and, and legalities, I think that's why I said the truth and nothing but the truth. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Yeah, I feel that it's the truth and nothing but the truth. And that's what she's she's saying that to you. Um, the truth has got to be the, the truth has got to be out. She's, somebody has got to speak about about the truth, because I feel that that's what she would um, she would be encouraging you to do if she was here. Now, of course, it's up to you what you do. We have choices in life. But I do feel she could be quite a force to be reckoned with when she was here. And, and I, I don't know if she would, would give you that, that stare. You know, you know uh, um, sometimes um, mums have um, have sort of that stare where they look at you as if to say, 
now come on um you I, I know i know what's going on you've got to be truthful and that's what she's that's what she's making me aware of i feel that she was also a little bit intuitive herself where she had that wonderful intuition where you'd come in and she'd know when when there was things going on with it within within the family uh and i feel that she it was i feel that she would send out a peach she would just know what was going on there was like um uh, they call it like the jungle drums, don't they, where, where things go out and all the family gets to know. And I feel that, you know, she would get to know what was going on. Um, she family was very important to her um, and you were very important to her. And um, she couldn't have. Yeah, it's coming out now. Don't rest with my mother in law. <laughs> Absolutely. But she's saying you are my daughter. And, and I, I feel, feel that you were more of a daughter. To, you were more, more of a daughter to me than I would have ever wished for. That's, that's what she, she, that's what she's saying. saying. So and she wants you to be proud of yourself, and she wants you to stand up for what you believe in because I feel she did. And I've, I've got this sense that she would have stood her ground if people, um, as you said, don't mess with my mother-in-law. But I feel she would have stood her ground, and she was, um, she was very loyal. And I, I get the sense that, you know, other people couldn't say things about her kids or her family, but I feel that she'd give you a bit of a clip round the ear when she got you in, if, if she knew that you'd actually done something wrong. Um, she, yeah, she knew more than she let on, absolutely. But she was very, very loyal to the family. And I just feel that she's got um, lots, quite a lot of emotions, but I do feel that she did... Um, I don't know. I, I just feel that towards the end of her life, she she had to give up. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think, think she might make me, but I understand why. Well, she she does. She does. Um, I think she's seeing things a little bit differently now in the, from, from the world of spirit, because that sometimes happens. So, But she just wants to come because she knows what's going on, and um, she wants to say thank you for everything that you did. So take her love. Oh, lovely. And the last thing that I'll um, add to that, if I may, Tracy, is she was just dropping into my mindset the words about how she would practice what she preached. But as she said preached, I got the song that came into my mind. I think it was Dusty Springfield, um, the son of a preacher man. OK, so I just feel as though what she's, she's doing is bringing this gift through for you before we send her back off up to the angels, isn't it? You know, she did practice what she preached and I feel as though what she's trying to do is emphasize the fact now that she just wants you to tuck take those reins kind of like grab those reins that you would be familiar with and just go for it because I just get this great sense that I just want to go for it and I want to move forward oh she said on the phone she's so she stuck up for me so much oh god bless you Tracy so we're going to leave her love with you Tracy and say thank you so much for working with us and god bless you yeah thank you Tracy that was lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Karen, it's, um, I'm conscious of time, and I know that all of these lovely people would be with us in, until midnight if they could, <laughs> and that's so lovely for them to do so. Absolutely. Um, but um, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling as though now spirit is starting to draw back somewhat from me. Yes. Um, yes. And I am conscious that we, we have to let Richard have some sleep as well at some point. So um, I just want to say to, to, to you once again, thank you so much for coming on board and working this evening. It's been lovely working with you. And, and I'll see you again in two weeks. Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you for the invitation. Thank you, Richard. And thank you, everybody, for being here. I've really had a great time and I'm looking forward to being back in two weeks. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So, yep, yeah, just bear in mind, guys, as we said, the 17th of December, 8 pm, you've, you've got, got a medley of medium shit that night. Uh, once once again, again, you've got, got the Charlie Nothing, Charlotte Underwood, Gary and Karen Wright, Helen Ayres, Karen Wood, Sarah Woolman, Trudy Hutton, and yours truly. So, <laughs> I just want to say, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being with us once again here this evening. And until we all do meet again, may the love and light of spirit be with you always. God bless you all. Night, night. Take care. Night, night, everybody. Night, night. There you go. Ah, oh, thank you, Karen. Wow. <laughs> How was that? I loved it. I loved it.